In this video, I want to talk about how we can approximate a binomial distribution with a Poisson distribution. Okay, now a bit of a disclaimer first. If you are if you've completed a second year A-level maths, then you should have seen that you can use a normal distribution to approximate a binomial distribution. Now, um, that's going from a discrete to a continuous. Here we're just going to keep with discrete to discrete. Okay, so that's one key difference. So we don't have to do a continuity correction. Okay. Secondly, um, this is more about proof of concept than anything else. Because when it comes down to it, why would we need to approximate the binomial distribution with a normal or the Poisson distribution? Because we've got a calculator that can calculate all the probabilities for me. Okay, so why would I need to? Okay, so um, essentially, as I said, this is proof of concept, the fact that you can. Um, so in the case of the normal distribution uh, for binomial, um, the fact that you can approximate a discrete with a continuous is um, something that is used in statistics. Um, and being able to approximate a discrete distribution with a continuous one. And the fact that you can approximate a discrete distribution with another discrete distribution uh, that is closely linked is also a part of stats as well that um, is important to know that you can do it, okay, if you needed to. So, we're going to look at the particular case of approximating a binomial with a Poisson. So, a binomial distribution with parameters n and p can be approximated by a Poisson distribution with the parameter lambda, which is going to be equal to the mean, because lambda is the mean of the Poisson, so it must be equal to the mean of the binomial, which is n times p. Okay? But it comes with a bit of a caveat, okay? And that is, if n is large and p is small, okay? So the event is rare if p is small. Now, you might be going, well, how large is large? How small is small? Um, essentially, the larger n is and the smaller p is, the better the Poisson distribution is at approximating the binomial. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at um, a binomial distribution. And we're going to start off with, uh, let's call it x1. And it is a binomial distribution where we've got n is 10 and p is 0.5. So n is definitely not large here. P is definitely not small, okay? Um, but we could then think, okay, well, the Poisson distribution that would approximate it, let's call it Y, would be N times P, so a Poisson distribution of 5, with the lambda as 5, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to set up a table of results where we're going to have the value of R, we are going to have the probability of x1 being equal to r and the probability of y being equal to r and we're going to work out the percentage error okay between those two results so remember this is the exact one this is my approximation so i'm going to have 0 uh, 1 2 3 and 4 Oh, I'm going to go up to 5, actually. OK. So, let's work out each of those probabilities. So, I've worked out the probability of x1 being equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And here is the probabilities of y being equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. OK. Now, you can see, you know, these aren't particularly good okay so let's work out the percentage error for each of these now the calculation i'm going to be doing is essentially using the modulus of that one take away that one 
and then dividing by that one. Okay, so dividing by the actual and then multiplying by 100 to turn it into a percentage. Okay, so here's our percentage errors. So not good, in other words. Um, so the first one, 570%, uh, 244%, 91.8, 19.8, 14.4, and 28.7. So not good at all. So you can see that although we're approximating the binomial distribution with a Poisson with n times p, it's not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this up. So we're going to keep with y being a Poisson distribution with lambdas 5. But what I'll do is I will change n here to 100 and p to 0 0.05. So n is now a factor of 10 larger, p is a factor of 10 smaller. So let's call this x2 now. So it's binomial distribution where we've got 100 and 0 0.05. Here are the probabilities from R0 up to 5. And here are our new percentage errors. So you can see that there's been a marked decrease in the percentage error. Um, whereas previously we had 570%. Uh, We're now down to 13.6%. Still not brilliant, um, especially at the start. Some of these are very close. Okay, 0.573% there. Um, but let's go one better, shall we? So let's change this. So we've got x3. And we're now going to go to 1000 and 0 0.005 as the probability. Let's see uh, what the percentage error looks like then. So in order to work out the percentage errors with these, uh, to be as accurate as possible, I've rewritten these probabilities out to eight decimal places. Um, so I've worked out those to eight decimal places as well to work out the percentage errors. And you can see now that uh, with n is 1,000 and p is 0 0.005, um, these percentage errors are much lower than they were previously. Okay, so uh, what I'm doing is I'm increasing, I'm increasing n, I'm reducing p, uh, but the Poisson distribution here uh, with lambdas 5 has remained fixed. That's remained the same. Okay, so these two are becoming closer as I increase that and decrease that. So, um, so if n is large and p is small, then x is a binomial distribution with n and p. And this is going to be approximately a Poisson distribution with parameter n times p if n is large and p is small.